Taskade project management tutorial, how to use Taskade AI. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Taskade, which is a AI powered productivity tool that can help you manage your projects, tasks, and your daily activity. So let's get into it. Now, what exactly is Taskade? Well, Taskade is a seamless experience that you can enjoy on your browser. They even have dedicated applications for Mac, iOS, Android, and Windows, as well as Linux. So you can get started with task management and your productivity management anywhere that you are. Plus, the best part about using Taskade is that it has a bunch of different AI-based tools. With that, you can automate a lot of your functions and make sure that all of the things that are redundant in your day can all be done automatically. So instead of having to forward that email every day by yourself, you can just compile it and then let the AI do the rest of the work for you. Plus you can have chat with AI features as well as visualize your notes, create a actionable idea. So converting your daily thoughts, your notes into actual tasks that you are going to achieve. Now to get started with Taskade, simply head on over to taskade.com, click on sign up for free on the top right to get started. Now, once you do that, you can sign up with your Google account, Apple account, or build your account with your email address. I'm going to proceed with Google to make my sign up a bit easier. And once you do that, we're just going to get started with one of our email addresses from here. Now, after you have signed up, this will ask you just a couple of questions for you to get started with. So I want to use this for personal use and I can build my workspace name. So let's say for our workspace name, it's going to be Durden. And then I can pick out any color. I'm going to go with a really nice pink because that's my favorite color. So I'll just go on over here and I'll choose this one and then I'll just click on continue. Now on the top, you will see a link and you can share this in your work messenger or your work group. And for all the members to join this particular workspace, if you want to invite them via email addresses, you can also do that and you can choose their permission. So whether they are going to be a viewer where they can only comment and chat in project, or they can be an editor where they can actually edit project and can actually add info within the project. However, keep in mind that even editors do not have permissions to manage the workspace settings. So the settings would still be in your hands. And then we're going to skip for now and then we can proceed. So they have multiple different applications to get started with, but I'm just going to proceed with the desktop app. Now from here, you can enter your goal, task, or next project. So this is great to get started with and you have multiple different tools. So let's say we want to build a task list, a meeting agenda, sprint planning, outline planner, SOP. So I want to build an outline about my first product launch on our website. The product is a exclusive snake ring like this. Now from here, you will see on the bottom, you have workflows, whether you want to build workflows, mind maps, projects, content notes, then you have the persona. So you will see the default persona. Then you have the type of tasks you're building from what perspective should the outline be built about? So it should be built on the basis of sales. It should be built on the basis of mindfulness, you know, so you can choose the persona that you want. For us, we want marketing expertise. Then we have the tone. I am going to go with a, I think I am going to go with a authoritative tone and then you can add more sources so you can upload more content about your product. You can also add media links and any YouTube content you might have. And then you can just click on over here and then you will see that it will give you a basic outline and you can just go on ahead and click on create project to build this project as it is into your workspace. So I'm just going to let this keep on building and I'll just click on create project and I can just, you know, wait for the entire outline to be generated. It has broken down into multiple different steps. So getting ready, product identification, you know, uh, website preparation, marketing campaign, launch, post launch. 
and within that it has built multiple different steps as well so marketing campaign how we're going to proceed with that and just like that i'm just going to proceed on over here and start our tour so this is going to be your task aid dashboard on the top you have different views on the right side you also have different flip through pages this is going to be our basic template for our product launch and it has built a simple workflow. Now you guys will see it has made everything a clickable task. So I can identify the product. I let's say I have the product details ready. I have product images, description, strategy, and now I can change the view of this to make it a bit easier for us to digest where I can say, I want to keep this kind of view, which is our Kanban view. And this is going to show us everything that has been ticked off and we can just move on like this, or you can keep on going with your list view, whichever you find preferable. Even within that, you can click on add over here and add more information. So let's say you want to identify the target audience and within that, let's say you have another subtask so you can enter that. Let's say you have um, research and I wanted to brainstorm something and I can choose what I wanted to brainstorm. So this kind of utility helps in building upon your ideas. Now, this is just one project that we have built. If we go into our sidebar on the top left, you will see a section where you have your recents, you have your my tasks, a calendar view, starred as well as shared with me. Plus you can build a new workspace for different projects. So if you're working on two different things at the same time, you can go on ahead and proceed with that as well. Now, this is our basic dirt and workspace, which is for a particular business. Within that, you can build different projects. So let's say we're launching an email marketing campaign, or we have certain tasks that need to be completed on day to day. So we can just build a project called daily tasks where the daily updates would remain. Now, this kind of segregation can help you in building a very nice and simple outlay and with the ai tools that are integrated into taskade you can just further go on ahead and just build upon your pre-existing ideas plus they also provide you with templates for your projects so if you're not certain of what kind of you know starting point you have then you can use those templates so it's really that easy to get started with taskade plus the best part about it is that it's available for free it's simple to use and it's one of the nicest tools out there to get started with not only your project management but also personal management if you're looking for a tool that can help you in building your journal your personal tasks you know setting up your day-to-day -day activities so so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.